Alright, so hello everyone and welcome to another Android Studio tutorial where in this video I'll be showing you how to create this simple app which is just going to be a quote generator and it's going to have this nice little animation which it looks like someone's typing and it's going to randomize it, it's never going to repeat the same quotes unless it gets to the end of the list and there's a small chance it might but you're going to be able to share these quotes and it's a very beautiful small app definitely great for getting started in Android development. But let's get started immediately by going to our Gradle file, our build file, and adding these three dependencies. One's going to be for the material design, and the other two are going to be for coroutines. And we're just going to click on Sync now and wait for it to sync. But immediately after, let's just open all these folders and go to our colors uh, styles file and change them all to black. Then in our strings, I'm just going to paste, copy and paste uh, seven strings. I just named them quote underscore string one, quote underscore string two and so on, and we're going to use these later. So find some quotes, do this, and we can use them later. Next we're going to go to our styles, and inside here we are going to create a new style which is going to be called Splash Screen Theme. It's going to be no action bar, and finally at the bottom you can write Android Window Full Screen and set that to true. And this is going to be used for our splash screen later, you'll see soon. Next we're going to go to our drawable file and create a new vector asset, or actually three of them. One's going to be for the quote, one's going to be for the share button, and one's going to be for the refresh button. And I messed up here, they were supposed to be uh, white icons, but we'll fix that later, or you can fix it as soon as you want. But moving on to our main activity XML file, where I just put in a text view and a material design floating action button, and I gave it the ID of TV underscore text and of fab underscore new quote. And then click on this uh, refresh button so we can change the color. And here I just dragged it to white, so you'll have a white refresh button. And we're going to do the same thing for the share button. We're going to go right there to that small caller and change it to white. And we're going to keep the quotes uh, icon as black. And next you're going to go to your project folder and you're going to create a new empty activity, which you can find right there. And we're going to name it Splash Screen Activity. And it's going to be where we're going to post our quotation marks at the beginning of the app. But inside here I just copy and pasted the image view with the quotation marks. You can just copy and paste this. And right after this we're going to go to our manifest file where we're going to set our splash screen activity as the main activity. But uh, we're going to first change the theme to our splash screen theme. And we're going to copy this intent filter and paste it right there under splash screen activity. So this will ensure that it actually opens up on that activity. So as you can see it just opens to that but the problem is right now it doesn't change to our main activity. It just stays there. But right before we fix that, we're going to go to our res file and create a new Android resource directory. And it's going to be of type menu. We're going to click on OK. And then inside that folder, we're going to create a new resource file of nav underscore menu. And inside here, we're going to create one item, which is going to be our share button. And essentially, just type in item Android ID and give it an ID of nav underscore share. And we're going to give the icon to our share icon. It says black, but we changed it to white. You can also edit that if you want. We're going to give a title of share quote and we're going to do app show as action if there is room. And right after that we can go to our splash screen activity and in here we're going to write a method called splash the screen. And it's going to be a private function which is going to take the name splash the screen again and it's going to take iv underscore splash which is our image view and set the alpha to zero. And then we're going to do iv underscore splash dot animate and here I should have set the alpha to 1f. You can fix it now or later, it doesn't matter. And we're going to do duration at 800 milliseconds. And it's going to have an end action, which is going to start our main activity. It's going to be intent with the context of this. And it's going to open our main activity class. And it's going to override a pending transition, which is just going to make it smoothly fades out and in. And then we're going to add finish and dot start. And this ensures that you can't go back to the splash screen once you're on your main activity and you click the back button. But then in our main activity file, we're going to write a list of quotes, which is going to take our strings, and each one is going to be r.string.quotes number, and it's going to be quote string 2, quote string 3, quote string 4, and so on, as many quotes as you have. And then we're going to add two other variables, one's quote number and one's main text. And right under an onCreate method, we are going to create two methods called quote on uploaded and click new quote, but we'll fix that later. We'll just continue down here by typing private function type text, which will take a text of type string, and we'll write main text is equal to empty quotation marks, and we'll give it a text delay, which is of type long of 50. And then we're going to launch a global scope with our coroutines on dispatches.io. And right under, we're going to create a value, which is going to be SB, and it's going to be a string builder. And we're going to create another value called updated text with empty quotation marks, and we're going to create a for loop for i in text.indices. We're going to set the main text to sb.append updated text plus text, 
at the index of i, and we're going to set that to string. Then we're going to do the thread sleep for the text delay amount of time, which is a very, very short delay. And this is going to build our text for us to give it the nice animation. Then we're going to create a handler, which is going to update the UI. And we're going to add a log here, which is going to say tag main, and it's going to say handler started. And right under that, we're going to create a runnable, and we're going to implement the method run. And it's going to take our tv underscore text dot text, and it's going to set it to our main text with a long line right after that. And it's going to have a post delayed handler, which is going to take the context of this and have 10 milliseconds as a delay. And if the text is equal to main text, we want our handler to stop so it doesn't lead to memory leaks. It's going to set our text view to the main text and enable our floating action button. And at the bottom, you want to write handler dot post delayed runnable at a delay milliseconds of zero. And then we can create another function, which is going to be quote on uploaded, which is just going to implement what we were supposed to do in the first place. It's going to get our fab underscore new quotes, and it's going to set is enabled to false. It's going to change the quote number to zero. It's going to shuffle our list of quotes, and then it's going to take our type text method and insert the parameter of our list quotes, and it's going to increment the quote number by one. Then we're going to write click new quote, so this will handle the clicks. And it's going to take our floating action button and it's going to set an on click listener on that. And it's also going to disable our floating action button. And we're going to write an if statement, which is going to be if quote number is equal to list quote dot size, we're going to want to get our quote on uploaded method and we want to implement that there. Otherwise, we're going to do type text get string, it's going to get the list of quotes at that quote number and it's going to increment the quote number by one. And this ensures that the list will continuously loop and never go out of bounds. And there I just fixed the alpha to one, so then the, the splash screen would actually load correctly. But as you can see there, everything looks good so far. Now we're just missing the menu button at the top. So if you click on the refresh, you can select it and it will go through the quotes. But now let's create that options menu. So we're going to do on create options menu and we are going to inflate it by doing menu inflator dot inflate. We're going to get the r dot menu dot nav menu, which is our menu in our resource file and we return true there. Then we're going to create on options item selected and we're going to return when item dot item ID is equal to our nav share icon. And inside here we want to create a share intent and this is going to open your message into whatever messenger service you desire. So it's going to be of an intent dot action sent, share intent dot type is text slash plain and it's going to be share intent dot put extra intent dot extra text and it's going to take our main text. And then we're going to do start activity, intent.createChooser, share intent, and that's the title of the pop-up screen that says let's share. It's going to return true, else it's going to return item selected. And finally, now you can actually click on that menu item, you can send it to your friends, and you can just send quotes around, and it's a lot simpler than copy and pasting it. So added value to your app. And now there's one more problem that we haven't yet uh, taken care of, which is the icon of your app. So it looks good when, pe when users click on it or when you see it in the App Store. So you can do that by going to Drawable and creating a new image file and picking whatever you want. It can be an image or it can be an icon. But by default, they, for some reason, leave the old icon launcher. So you have to delete those from your uh, Drawable files and make sure that the new ones you created are the only ones there. So then your app will launch smoothly and your icon won't get confused with the old one. So make sure to remove those files that look very similar to yours. And in the end, you should have this beautiful icon at the top, depending on what logo you put. It might be a very ugly one, but uh, that, that's not the point. Here you have an app that types a nice quote every time you click on the refresh button. It doesn't repeat the quotes unless you get to the end of the list and it might shuffle and it very might happen to start the new list with the same one as the last quote that you ended on. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something. I know it's a bit fast. It's just how I speak. It's how I make tutorials. But uh, if there's anything you'd like me to make, just leave it in the comment section and I will look into it. And uh, thanks for watching and see you in another video.